Moving on to some draft night trades. Trades that could happen on draft night. This happens all the time. I think every year there's about uh, somewhere between five to ten draft trades that happen in the first round alone. And I feel like in this year's draft with a lot of quarterbacks and, and, and the whole carousel, and nobody knows really what's going to be happening with a number three pick, number four pick, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people could be trading away their first round picks and trading a ransom for it to move up in the draft. And if they want to acquire more picks, trade down as well. Some teams that we narrowed it down to, we have three teams that we wanted to mention that could trade in the NFL draft. First up, Minnesota Vikings. Talking about uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the reason why they have a uh, second round pick or an additional second round pick is because of that Yannick Nagakwe trade from the Minnesota Vikings. So the Vikings have no second rounder at this point because of that trade. If they really want to trade down to acquire a second rounder, that would not be a bad move. Think about it. You need a second rounder. You need depth on your team. And at the number 14 pick, I feel like a lot of great talent that could be immediate starters by the time the number 14 pick comes would be gone. So you could get a very good player at the number 14 pick. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to stay and get a, a good edge rusher, or a good corner, whatever it may be. But I feel like if you were to trade down just a few spots, you could still get, you could still get a good player at that same level of talent that you could get at number 14. And let me explain. The best way I can explain is in our mock draft, we actually had the Minnesota Vikings trading down with the Chicago Bears. The reason with the Chicago Bears from number 20 up to number 14 is because in our mock draft, Jalen Waddell is available by number 14. The Bears, Ryan Pace, that whole Bears organization is tired of seeing the Bears offense being so lackluster for many, many years. They really want this thing to work with Andy Dalton and this offense to be great bring in the next best available wide receiver. Let's trade up. Let's just give up our second round pick if we have to. Hey, the Minnesota Vikings are interested in a second round pick. They need one after that Yannick Nagakwe trade. Let's go ahead and get Jalen Waddle from Alabama. So the Bears, I feel like, would be the best suitor for the Minnesota Vikings if they want to trade down. I feel like the Vikings are going to be open to a lot of conversation. And then at number... Uh, 20, actually, if I go back to my NFL mock draft, let me pull this up real quick. I believe I have the Vikings getting Gregory Rousseau from Miami, the edge rusher, uh, because they need some defensive end help. So the Minnesota Vikings, Gregory Rousseau from Miami, good edge rush help. That would be great for the Vikings to trade down with the Chicago Bears. Another team that could trade down in this instance would be the Arizona Cardinals. This is because, again, just like the Vikings, they need to get more depth and get more draft picks. They lost a lot of draft picks with that whole DeAndre Hopkins trade. Understandable. But you don't have enough. Actually, you don't have any uh, third or fourth rounders in the NFL draft. So the Cardinals could be a candidate to trade back and acquire third and fourth rounders. What are some teams that could trade up with the Arizona Cardinals? Well, if you want to move back into the first round, it would take a lot for the Dallas Cowboys to do it because they don't pick again until the 10th pick in the second round. But if they really wanted to make a move, they could trade the second round pick, third rounder, fourth rounder, because they have multiple third and fourth rounders to trade back up into the first round. That would take a lot. Like I said, that's almost a whole entire round that the Cowboys would be drafting or trading back up into, but they would be a suitable team if they really wanted to uh, trade back up. In our mock draft, we actually have the Tennessee Titans, who also have a plethora of uh, mid-round picks. They, they could also trade up with the Arizona Cardinals and draft a cornerback. I actually have the Titans moving up to number 16 to get J.C. Horn from South Carolina. The Cardinals fall back to number 22, and they get Caleb Farley from Virginia Tech. So they need some cornerback help. The cornerback depth or the cornerback position, like I said, is very good as far as depth and talent goes. Caleb Farley, Farley to the Cardinals would not be a bad option as well. Another team that could trade up to the number 16 pick with the Arizona Cardinals, the Cleveland Browns. They are also a team with a lot of picks 
that could trade up in this draft, which actually, as a matter of fact, is the third team that I wanted to talk about. The good old Cleveland Browns, because they are in a great spot to where when it comes time for the number 26 pick, some good talent could be available. Yeah. But also, if you're thinking about making a move to trade up in the draft, this would be the year to do it. Kevin Stefanski and that whole Browns front office feel like that they're only one or two pieces away from going further, from beating the Chiefs in the playoffs. So that's why I feel like that they could give up a ransom to move up in the draft to get the guy that they really like. It's almost like the whole Los Angeles Rams situation where they traded for Matthew Stafford. They gave up so much, and you could say to yourself, well, why wouldn't you just settle with Jared Goff? Because they feel like Matthew Stafford is better. You could say to yourself, yeah, maybe he's not that much better, but they're willing to do whatever it takes at this point to get back to the Super Bowl. This whole Rams organization is known for that with the amount of money that they spent on free agency and it almost working out, getting to the Super Bowl, but eventually losing to the New England Patriots. They know that this works if they just spend a lot of money or they trade whatever it takes to get that player that they want to get that one missing piece. And that quarterback was that one missing piece for the LA Rams and they feel like they got him. For the Browns, they could go down the same route. If you just need that one missing piece, which could be a wide receiver, it could be a edge rusher. It could be a lots of things for the Cleveland Browns. Whatever in their mind they think is that one missing ingredient for them to catapult them to the Super Bowl, then the Cleveland Browns, guess what? They're going to do it. So who are they going to pick and who are they going to trade up for? A lot of options. Um, if it didn't work out with that Jadavion Clowney contract, that one-year $10 million contract, I feel like that the Browns would have traded up with the Arizona Cardinals to number 16 to get someone like Jalen Phillips, who would be one of the better edge rushers in the NFL draft. But since it did work out, okay, you don't really want to trade up for an edge rusher too badly, so you don't want to move up too much. But if they were to move up a couple of spots, three spots, four spots, to get what they believe is the best player available in the draft, yeah, it could absolutely happen. If they really, really, really wanted to make a big move, how about them trading up for a wide receiver. We all know the top tier of wide receivers in this draft. There's Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle. Hey, if the Browns want to move up into the top 10 or close to the top 10 to get someone like Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle, that's actually an option for the Cleveland Browns. You have Odo Beckham aging. You have Jarvis Landry aging. You have both those players in the last two years of their contracts. More than likely, they're not going to get re-signed. And if they are going to get resigned, it's only going to be one of them. So you got to start thinking about the future. You don't have a number three wide receiver or a solid number three wide receiver. In my mock draft, I actually have the Browns staying at number 26 and getting Rondale Moore at number 26 from Purdue to be their shifty slot wide receiver. If they really wanted to make a move and Jalen Waddle were to fall, guess what? The Browns could move up to get Jalen Waddle. Baker Mayfield should need some weapons in the cornerstone wide receiver and a franchise wide receiver for years to come. So some teams, to recap, that could trade during the NFL draft. The Minnesota Vikings could trade down. The Arizona Cardinals could trade down. And the Cleveland Browns could trade up. Leave your thoughts, leave your opinions. What do you feel like is going to happen in this NFL draft?